Hello, welcome to Study Circle. Today we are going to read Class 8 Standard Civics Chapter 5 Understanding Marginalization. What does it mean to be socially marginalized? To be marginalized is to be forced to occupy the sides or fringes that and thus not be at the center of things people or communities face marginalization because of different languages customs religious groups etc tribal or adivasis and religious minorities such as muslims are two major communities which are socially marginalized in india adivasi the term adivasi literally means original inhabitants these are the communities who lived and often continue to live in close association with forest tribals are also referred to as adivasis they constitute around 8 percent of india's population they are not homogeneous population as there are over 500 different adivasi groups in india alone and odisha is the home to more than 60 different tribal groups Adivasi societies lack social hierarchy such as Jati Varna or caste. Areas of in inhabitation. Majority lives in states like Chhattisgarh, Jharkhand, Madhya Pradesh, Odisha, etc., and in Northeast India. Many of India's most important mining and industrial centers are in Adivasi areas such as Jamshedpur, Raudkela, Bokaro, etc. Religion. They practice a range of tribal religions that are different from Islam, Hinduism, Christianity. These often involve the worship of ancestor village and nature spirits like mountain spirits, river spirits, etc. They have been influenced by different surroundings religion like Shakta, Buddhist, Vaishnav, Bhakti, and Christianity. Adivasi religion themselves have influenced dominant religions of the empires around them. For example, the Jagannath cult of Odisha and Shakti and Tantric tradition in Bengal and Assam. During the 19th century, substantial number of Adivasi converted to Christianity, which has emerged as a very important religion in modern Adivasi history. Language They have their own language, most of them radically different form and possibly as old as Sanskrit. Their language has often deep, deeply influenced the formation of mainstream Indian languages like Bengali. Adivasis and stereotyping. Adivasi communities are portrayed in a very stereotypical way in colorful costumes, headgear, and through their dancing. People often wrongly believe that they are exotic, primitive, and backward. They are blamed for their lack of advancement and they are believed to be resistant to change or new ideas. Adivasis and Development Condition of Adivasis Till the middle of the 19th century, Adivasi had control over most of tract of the forest. They were traditionally raised hunter-gatherers and nomads and lived by shifting agriculture. For the past 200 years, Adivasi have been increasingly forced to migrate and to live as workers in plantation at construction sites in industry as domestic workers because of economic changes, forest policies, political force applied by the state and private industry. Problems to Adivasi due to mainstream development. Loss of tribal lands, forest lands have been cleared for timber and to get land for agriculture and industry. Adivasi's rich areas rich in mineral and other natural resources are taken over for mining and other large industrial projects. Most of the time the land is taken away forcefully and procedures are not followed. According to official figures, more than 50% of persons displaced due to mines and mining projects are tribals. Labeled as encroacher, tribal inhabited forests were declared, declared as national parks and wildlife sanctuaries and they were, they were evicted and termed as encroachers. Loss of livelihood, many Adivasis migrated to cities in search of work and got employed very low wage works. Slowly they caught in a cycle of poverty and deprivation. 45% of tribal groups in rural areas and 35% in urban areas live below the poverty line. This overall has led to deprivation in other areas such as child nourishment, literacy rates, etc. A survey report shows that 79% of the persons displaced from the state of Andhra Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Odisha and Jharkhand are tribals. Loss of traditions and custom. They lost their unique way of living and being. Minorities and marginalization. 
the term minority used to refer to community that are numerically small in relation to rest of population. The concept goes well beyond numbers and encompasses issue of power, access to resource, and has social and cultural dimensions. Size can be a disadvantage and lead to marginalization of the relatively smaller communities. Sometimes minorities feel insecure about their lives, assets, and well-being. The constitution provides safeguards to religious and linguistic minorities as part of our fundamental rights against the possibility of being culturally dominated by the majority. Judiciary plays a crucial role in upholding the law and enforcing fundamental rights. Muslims and marginalization. Muslims are considered as marginalized community in India because in comparison to other communities, they have over the years deprived of benefit of socio-economic development. Following three tables below indicate the situation of Muslim community with regard to basic amenities, literacy and public employment. You can see here the data access to basic am amenities. In this data is according to Human Development Report 2011 towards social inclusion. In addition to this, Muslims face unfair treatment and discrimination because of their differences in custom and practices from the mainstreams. There is a very important commission and report on Muslims. Rajinder, Rajinder Satchar Committee on Muslims. The government uh, recognized that Muslims in India were lagging in terms of various development indicators and set up a high-level committee in 2005, which was chaired by Justice Rajinder Satchar to examine the social, economic and educational status of Muslim community in India. Its major findings are that the average years of schooling for Muslim children between the age of 7 to 16 is much lower than that of other socio-religious communities. 25% of Muslim children in 6 to 14 years age group have either never been enrolled in school or have dropped out. It debunked the myths about Muslims that they prefer to send their children to madrasas. In actual, 4% of Muslim children are in madrasas where 66% attend government schools and 30 private schools. On a range of social, economic and educational indicators, the situation of the Muslim community is comparable to that of other marginalized, marginalized communities like scheduled caste and scheduled tribes. Some interesting facts of this chapter is that ragas are traditionally envisioned in divine or human form in romantic or devotional context by musicians and poets. Each raga is associated with a specific mood, time of the day and season. The six main ragas are Vairava, Malko, Sindol, Deepak, Megha and Shri. Scheduled tribes is a, the term used by Adivasis by the Indian government in various official documents. There is an official list of tribes. There are about 70 lakh Adivasis in Assam alone. Santhali has the largest number of speakers and has a significant body of publication including magazines on the internet or in e-magazines. Niamgiri Hill located in Kalahandi district of Orissa. It is inhabited by Donang Dongaria Kons tribes. They are considered the hill as sacred. According to 2011 census, Muslims are 14.2% of India's population. Thank you.